I have decided that I am making this as a message to you, Shanny for Christ. First of all, we're not the ones that have made your life a living hell. All of that is on you. And for everything you've done, you've posted your personal information on the internet, you've exploited your son's mental health, you have made everyone pay attention to you, and for what it's worth, you are finished. And secondly, the trolls are not responsible for your son's decline in mental health. You don't see irate Alex exploiting him on a live stream for everyone to see. Fabfit Geeky wasn't the one who berated him and made fun of him for having a mental breakdown. You are so self-absorbed, Shanny. You wouldn't even visit your son in the ICU. What if it were Rev who is in intensive care? You wouldn't go see him if he was in a hospital. And don't even give us that damn soft story about your how your mother abused you. I mean, I, Alex and other people have said your mother wasn't that abusive. Hell, they even talked to her. And she gave her side of the story. And what she said... I can take her side because honestly I'd rather believe your mother over your lies any day. And that's another thing. You are a pathological liar, Shani. Those uh, doxes on Charlie Gold <laughs> she wasn't arrested she volunteered to walk to the police station to get her picture taken and it wasn't for some gang shooting or whatever racist thing you would pit on Charlie it was for a parking violation. And the cops were cool with her. <laughs> they even joked with her when she addressed her situation. And you went on on Alex for defending Onision? Look, Alex doesn't want to talk about Onision because he's been talked to death about. Yes, Onision is an evil bastard. And I would compare him to Jonathan Elias Ross if I had the say so. But that's not the case. That'll, I'll cover that soon. But you, Shani, on the other hand, you're even worse than Onision. And that's saying something. You are scum. Complete and utter scum. And the fact that you are talking for yourself and Rev, who just agrees with you blindly because you were manipulating him. I mean, yeah, Rev ha has some problems. I can get that, but before he met you, 
he was doing fine. When he got with you, it's all downhill from here. Because you are verbally and emotionally abusing him. Physically and psychologically. And honestly, I don't even know why anyone would have to put up with you. And you really think that people like Foodie Booty and Amberlynn Reed would appreciate you defending them? Lady, they don't even know who the hell you are. And that's the thing. Nobody knows who the hell you are. You try to get police, detectives, the FBI, and even Donald Trump to defend you, to fight for you, to fight your own bat, to fight your battles. You're probably not going to see this video, and even if you do, you're going to label me as a hater. And frankly, I'd rather be a hater than a supporter of you, Shani. And for, secondly, I mean, go see your son. Be there with your son. Sure, you might have some sort of PTSD as you claim, but your son William needs no he needs your help. No, I'm not stopping this recording. I have a few more points to make. I mean, I don't have kids of my own, and I probably might not ever have kids. But if I did, and if they had the same mental deteriorations as William, I would be there for them. I would do everything in my power to see them get help, to get better, to move them out of that state of mind. Because, trust me, I've had those same situations, and you don't see me crying about it. Well, not anymore. But the fact that you would rather address your haters, Shanny for Christ, is more vile than anything I've ever seen. I mean, my mother would vouch for me if I had mental problems. And she's always been supportive of me. And what does that have to say about you? And also, another thing. Like I said, when you always gloated about how bad your mother was. And how much of a pathological liar you are. What's that say about your character, Shani? And to end that off, I have to say this. Go to hell, Shani. And why not take your husband with you? Because we're doing fine without you pestering us with your senseless banter. And I am done. I'm signing out. And I don't know if this is going to reach out to anyone. But if it does, I would like to have a discussion with the people who are involved in trying to take you down. That's it.